guys, it's Emily, the Minimalist Mama. Here on my channel, we like to talk about pursuing minimalism with grace. And I've already been organizing today. I organized for over three hours this morning with a client, but because it's Tuesday, the 22nd of 2022, the most organized day ever, I feel like maybe I could take on a little bit more. So. Behind me is my craft supplies cabinet, and I've been wanting to take a deeper dive into it and clean some stuff out for a while, so let's try it. And I'm hoping to also get to going through the kids crafting stuff because that really needs a good clean out and purge. So here we go. This video today is in collaboration with my YouTube friend, Joy, from Organize with Joy, and I'll put a link to her channel down below, and also the playlist for a bunch of other mom YouTubers, and we're all doing some decluttering and organizing today. So be sure to check that out in the description down below for even more inspiration and motivation. So on top I have a puzzle that I just keep out of the way of children. My chapbooks, which I do love, and then I don't remember what I put in here. Art supplies. Okay, art supplies are in there. This is packing material that should go with my work stuff. Yarn, and I have more yarn here. I did pare down the yarn. I pared it down a ton, but there's still a lot. This is more art stuff. Paint. This is acrylic paint, and this is oil. And then oh, this one are random labels and stickers and all the random craft stuff. Glitter, I don't know. So that's gonna be interesting. And then in here I have all my Cricut supplies, but I really wish this would fit into something. I made this label on my Cricut and sadly it's not sticking very well, so I think I should make some new final ones and maybe label all my craft stuff. This is my organizing bag that I take with me on organizing jobs that has all the things I need. And then down here, I've got more art stuff. So we've got drawing supplies. This is uh, craft stuff for Edison. I have clay, there's paint. Oh, paint that hasn't even been opened yet. Canvases that haven't been used and some that have. Um, this one is like different kinds of glue and Mod Podge. And then this one is different kinds of rope and string and twine. And then this one is beads. Then, uh, oh, this is my weaving loom. This was a pandemic purchase. I thought I would get into weaving. That didn't happen. Down here is my fabric stash and other random crafting stash of things like old book pages and these wire things from the Dollar Tree that I used for wreaths before. So, I have some sewing stuff in there, my sewing machine and sewing basket. It would be really great to just have one location. Also, that's some of my art stuff there. So, maybe I should go through that too at some point. Okay, so I'm starting with what's going to be the easiest, I think, which is this bottom one with fabric because the truth is I have not sewn anything in a long time. The last time I did sew something was for Bennett's crib sheet and it was really hard. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't see myself doing much sewing in the future. So this fabric is left over from a little whale stuffed animal that my mom and mother-in-law made for Edison when he was a baby. He might have made it before he was born. And I've kept this little scrap of fabric thinking it would be really cute to use for like a stuffed animal. Edison 6 now, I still have not made a stuffed animal out of this and I have never made a stuffed animal. So I don't think I need that anymore. This is velvet from some curtains that I had that were super, super long because you can get them from Ikea super long. And so I trimmed this all off and thought I would save it and make pillow cushions out of it or something. I don't have those curtains anymore, so I don't know why I still have the fabric. This stuff I've had literally for like six years. This fabric 
was also, I got for free because um, I was sponsored by a crafting company and I did use a lot of this to recover a set of six dining room chairs, but I don't have those chairs anymore and I don't see myself recovering any chairs in the future. So I don't think I even need that anymore either. This is a canvas drop cloth that I probably used as a curtain at some point. See if we need any new drop cloths in the basement. I used these butterfly stickers for a DIY project that I made before, but I don't think I'm gonna make it again. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. These I'm gonna lose their way because I only used two of them, so I think I got my work, money's worth out of it. This was also for a wreath, I think, that I never ended up making. It's the bottom of an embroidery hoop. Maybe I'll find the other half. Okay, these I used once to make a book page headboard. I don't, they're kind of stuck together. These were just old books from the thrift store that I cut up to make different art projects with. I don't know if I want to keep hanging on to them. Maybe I'll actually put this on my shelf. But look at this book cover, isn't that so cool? of going through all my art supplies was not all that interesting except I guess when I looked through some of my old art but basically I just got it all out and sorted it into piles so I could get an idea of how much of each category I had. Okay here's all of it. I got trash in this area donate all this and then this is all painting and drawing and artwork I've made before that maybe I can put somewhere else or get rid of I'm not sure these are all empty I can use these are all things I'm keeping pretty much sorted out this is stuff that needs to go somewhere else this is my cricket stuff and I guess that's cricket too and then weaving, so. And I got all the yarn in here. Brian's gonna be very glad to see that I'm donating all my glitter. I've been really excited to try out the Home Edit's new line of organizing products at Walmart, and I think this is gonna be the perfect project for these. So I'm going to use the multi-purpose edit and also the bathroom edit because it has a lot of little, little boxes and I think that will be perfect for sorting craft supplies into. Just remember to use the acronym SPACE. This is what I use with all of my clients. First sort, then purge, then assign and then contain. So don't start with buying the containers. First you have to go through all the other steps, then you contain and then you evaluate and see how your system is working. and a whole lot of trash and recycling to take care of. And then the next day, this is where we started. I got my sewing basket over here and even my sewing machine. But I don't really love the way my sewing basket looks. So I'm gonna also try to see if I can use some of the old containers I used for my art supplies and sort my sewing stuff into it. 
I also found some mending in there that I don't know how long it's been in there. Okay, so here's the kids' craft situation. In this cabinet that I thrifted, which used to have doors on both sides, and now only has doors on one side. This is where I keep their craft stuff and records for the record player that is right up there. So I'm thinking though, with all the like coloring books and stuff that are mixed in with the records, I'm gonna move the records to the office and we'll probably be safer anyway. But this thing can't close anymore, as you can see. So we need to go through it and clean some stuff out. You know the drill. First get it all out and sort it and then make decisions about what should go where. I'm actually gonna remove all the colored pencils because the boys really don't use them. So I'm gonna allow the materials that they actually like to use to stay so that those can get used even more. Actually, this should go in the art supplies, but we can put puzzles here, another little activities and the extra art supplies. Okay, so this is the final. It's gonna be a lot easier to keep neat. And then in here, that trash and recycling stuff to take care of. But this is what we have here. So all the yarns up here, Cricut supplies in here. The missile shelf is Cricut supplies. All my organizing stuff in my sewing machine. And then in here, Painting, painting, and paint and markers and drawing stuff. Macrame and beading. And very sadly, these two could not stack on top of each other. So we've got embroidery here and sewing here with the loom and then glue and tools and heel in here. So now for some labels and that will be done. 